Gentlemen, welcome to Operation Gilgamesh. We've received uh, some information not too long ago that the threat level is in fact elevated because of recent events that have happened in the last week. Really, you have no expectations, but uh, I know that uh, not too many people will have seen this or not too many civilians will have seen this. Um, in this area particularly, there's a lot of militia. Antiquities dating back to 100,000 years ago. I mean, uh, it's quite the experience. That was probably one of the top uh, five uh, museum experiences of my entire life. Even in developing countries, you, like, kids are the same wherever you go. And, um, they spoke a little bit, a bit of English, and so just engaging at a basic level sort of made their day. It was good fun. There's some um, 500,000 names on the walls down there and that varies from the, the martyrs, the, the people that have fought in the wars, as well as the, the people, the numbers that Saddam Hussein himself uh, killed or created, I suppose, large-scale killings, genocide for one of a better term. Well, this is the Iraqi Monument Martyrs. It has been built in 1983 and uh, the architecture who built this place is called Ismail Fattah al -Turk. Sad to see that um, a lot of the, the graves here have been um, damaged or destroyed. You think about the sacrifices that uh, our nation's finest and, and certainly the men of the Commonwealth. Okay, we're in the um, Commonwealth War Cemetery in Baghdad, and there's quite there's quite a few dozens and dozens of Australians buried here. Unfortunately, the, uh, a lot of the graves here have been desecrated, uh, hasn't been well cared for, uh, and not well respected, but uh, I guess you get that with uh, the district that we're in. A uh, mix sort of sense there's a little bit of something that's not quite right. We're right next to a, a main road here, and you can hear all the tooting and the rest of it going on. So we are in the Badlands. We've already had a number of comments come across the fence about knocking down Australian and New Zealand headstones because of what's happened in the, recently. Action's on no change, the only thing is if we, if we have to get out of the cars, we're going to go 300 metres and the reason we're going 300 metres in the opposite direction of the incident is because it's outside small arms fire, effective small arms fire range, right? Because there's going to be nowhere to hide, nowhere to run, it's just going to be, most of it's flat desert out there, okay? Yeah, that's right, 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 that's Babylon Hotel over there. The, the last car with uh, with Tyson, Mark, and Matt in it's been stopped at the Dewanier checkpoint. We don't know, we don't know why yet. They're claiming someone took a photo. Um, they're taking all their passports. <laughs> <laughs> 